Hey guys, Spamber here, and welcome to the fifth episode of my Let's Play of Mountain Blade Warband, the Revolutionary War mod. The year is 1776. We've been playing for about like a few in day games, like just like five or six or something, maybe 16. I don't know if we started on July 4th or not, but uh, whatever, we're, we're doing pretty good, I think, actually. Um, we actually, it's been kind of boring. We fought a bunch of bandits last time, but uh, we're working on it. We're working on, on getting our character to be a little bit more, uh, you know. Well, what the hell is happening? Oh, the the world is like shaking stupidly. All right, I think if yeah. Oh, hey, there's some looters. Oh, we lost them though. We're too slow. Oh, there's looters. There's only nine of them, so they're gonna be hard to chase. Hopefully the stupid shaking stops. That's really annoying. That's like exceedingly annoying how annoying that is. But you know, we're gonna get- oh, it's because we're close to the edge of the map. That's what it is. Um, the game does not like it when- or at least Mountain Blade does not like it when you get really close to the edges. So that's the problem. But whatever. Alright, so these look like Indians, I think. Weren't they Indians? I don't know. So yeah, they look like Indians to me. So hopefully my men will maintain the high ground. Is there any cavalry? Oh no, these guys are just the regular, the old regular old crowd that we've been fighting. Just regular bandits. There are Indian tribes that come around, so we do need to deal with that. I fought some of those myself playing alone, so they're they're actually pretty interesting and dynamic. Haha, <laughs> my horse ran you over. I just can't wait to participate in my first battle, like, you know, mano y mano of, like, Horatio Gates versus uh, George Washington or something, you know? I don't know. Like, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> but, like, I want to fight along George, George Washington in a big battle. And if it's all just, if they all just stand still at the beginning, like, like a million miles away from each other, that's going to be boring. I hope they actually come and, like, one at least will charge the other. Alright, tab key. Okay, good. Yeah, we killed them. Okay, good. And, but, uh, why does it always manage to escape? Flintlock pistol musket ammo. What does that even mean? What? Flintlock pistol. Oh, it takes musket ammo? Okay. Okay, that makes more sense now that I thought about it all the way through. Um, this sword looks like it's better. This cutlass. Uh, ooh. It's a pretty cool robe. But, uh, yeah, we'll hang on to that. Um, and we'll just grab the rest of this stuff to sell. Yeah, we're, we're not really going to be finding too much loot, guys, I don't think. I looked at some of the town, what it has for sale, and they don't really have much for sale. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll tell you that. So, uh, we're going to be saving up for a, uh, yeah, once we get away from the side of the map, it should be fine. Our party has nothing to eat. Oh, crap. Um, let's go back to uh, Halifax and buy food, even though it's going to make the map and it's going to jitter and whatever. Alright, here, whatever, whatever. I don't care, come on. Stagger back to Halifax, damn you. Alright, some some weird scripting errors happened, that's fine. I don't think there's nothing, it hasn't broken the game, it happened last episode too. I probably just need to reset, but I'm just lazy. <laughs> so we got these two cavalry series, I'm gonna sell everything else. I think I like this outfit a little bit more. So we're going to sell this Indian armor or whatever. Yeah, because we don't need it. I'm not really too concerned about numbers in this part of the, in this game. Because we're not really going to find anything that's worlds better. And I think that bissing it off look is not such a bad idea. Buy two corn... Let's buy three of them. Since we, since we just have the extra money, we might as well spend it. And then we'll buy all of this bread and grain. There we go. Alright, so we should have plenty of money for a while now. And we still got money, so we're still working towards our goal of making 10,000 shillings because 10,000 shillings is just the exact same thing as Mountain Blade Warband is uh, as a, a weavery and dye works. So that'll be 500 shillings in our pocket every month if we have that. My God, it takes forever. We should never have accepted this message delivery once I saw how far north it was. Yeah, it's reducing it down to four frames per second, but like as soon as I stop doing the the uh, fast travel, it's fine. But you know, it's just, it's just a quirk of the mod. It's okay. It's just a quirk of the mod. But uh, I really wish I would be able to find all the uh, some bandits. You know, 
bandits, oh bandits, oh bandits. Some some errors. More errors. Is this like maybe the troops are trying to desert since we don't have they didn't like how much food we lost or didn't have enough food. But it's not letting them because they don't know. Or because the, the script is broken or whatever. I have no idea how things work. Let's stop here in uh, Portland. And then we'll go to Portsmouth. I think after we get these recruits, I think we will um, probably have enough. I mean, we're, we're losing 163 shillings per week. So that's going to set us back enough, I think, in our goal. So I'm going to try to not get anything else that's going to set us any further back. So yeah, that's an extra five recruits. We're out to... Um, we're up to a pretty good amount. I'm happy with where we are. So this Philadelphia Dragoon is our only cavalry. That's cool though. Uh, I think we're going to start off without much cavalry. Who's this? Village Farmers? Well at least the farmers know what they're doing. I mean that's that's pretty cool. I saw a, um, I saw a caravan guy trapped. He's like trapped on the edge of like the uh, water here and he's like I can't get to where I'm going to go. I think he's trying to go to Nassau. Yeah, these towns out here are not the best idea at all. You're like, look at how jagged that terrain is, first of all. It's just like, I, I mean, the boat part, maybe we'll try it out, but I, I, not right now. Anyway, so where the hell are we? Nope, oh, there we are. We've been looking for like the stupid bandit hideout for like a million years. We never, never even gotten close, I don't think. Oh, I think we should just keep uh, calling it a, we should call it a day and try to find some like I think we're gonna call it, close the book on that quest because I doubt we'll ever find the stupid bandit hideout um oh the Spain and the Chickasaw tribe is trying to trade agreement good for you oh my god so many trade tra ah, stop their trading ah, too much trading what stop trading Jesus you should all your trade license is revoked Ugh, Albany. Well, the U.S. the United States of America starts off so overpowered. I mean, like, how is the uh, how is Great Britain supposed to fight against them? Hmm. I mean, like, of course, in real life, they had support from the like you know their actual Great Britain. But uh, in this game, it's like, uh, you guys have this these towns, and uh, that's it. You guys, you know, you suck. You can actually do nothing against the uh, <laughs> against the American forces. Whatever. Let's try to find some bandits. Let's try to find some bandits. Ooh. So our total experience gained through training is twenty. Mm. Not that good. We're not that good at training, apparently. And I might rethink my plans to become a member of the uh, Continental Army since it's like probably nothing really to do. Maybe I think they might have taken this fort, maybe. Oh, Toronto is owned by the Great Britain. Maybe I just need to look out a little bit more because they could have enough to be balanced. I don't know. I mean, how many centers do they have? That's really what we should look at. The uh, faction relations, the Great Britain has 53 centers and the United States has 55 centers. So that's actually not that bad. They're actually pretty even. Uh, it's just the uh, Great Britain spread out a little bit too much. Or it more, so you can't really see it. Whatever, let's just see what the Cherokee are doing. Let's click on Richmond just so that we know where we're going. Where are we? Richmond. All right, I'm just going to watch this area like a hawk and we're going to see if we can't find any rebels. Uh, Spain declared war against the United States. Oh, interesting. Spain has not responded to the tribe's provocations. He suffers a loss of face amongst his moors, but like who is subjects? The trade agreement has expired. Okay. Alright, so I don't see any I don't see anything. Anyways. <laughs> so let's continue going on here, I guess. Um yeah. I mean, it's cool, this mod, I guess, but this is probably just a glitch, that they, or, you know, an error that there's not as many encounters as usual. 
Okay, I'm gonna. I'm bored. <laughs> um, let's continue going around here. I really just want to see what it looks like when you fight like Lord versus Lord, you know, mono mono. Oh well, we'll find some more bandits somewhere. I mean, I know, I think more in the middle of the country, there's probably more. This map is just, I think the map is too big, you know? Like, this could be a lot more condensed and have a lot more encounters. But whatever. Whoa. Village farmers, damn it. <laughs> I wonder what the garrisons on these forts look like. If they're, I probably should go up to one see if there's like a huge garrison because I might consider sieging one like especially if it's a Cherokee one or something like that like these Cherokee they can't be that too that powerful maybe I could declare war on them or so you know make myself like an outlaw to them and then just murder them that would be interesting I guess let's just head over towards the uh Towards this area and see if there's any more uh, Indian rebels or something like that. Now, what happened in my other game is that I didn't have enough units with me, so like I would always, uh, I'd always just get randomly ambushed by them. Let's talk to this guy, Richard Howe. Ryan, I'm at your service. It's not every day. Blah blah blah. Um, would you like to feel the tenderness of my steel? Oh, <laughs> I meant no offense, to madam. I gained some renown. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Um, no, I don't want to give troops to you. Uh, I wish to ask you something. I wish to know the location of William Howe. Who's the... I guess this is their leader? Okay, thanks. Alright, let's find out where George Washington is. I think that's what we should do now. Because I would like to find him and ask him to be like ask to be his vassal or whatever, you know? That'd be cool. Some troop crap is happening apparently that's not in the code. Um Yeah, I'm sure that'll fix itself once we load the save. Let's get up to Fort Loudon and see if we can't find George old George. Uh, approach the gates, request entry, continue, go to Lord's Hall. Is there anybody here? Any, even a lady to talk to? Oh, this is actually not even the same, this is not a Nord one for the first time. And I think we actually saw a Vagar with the, uh, the other ones, so, yeah, there's nobody here. It looks like the, uh, the, the Cherokee are getting looted a lot. Hmm. So let's go check out their, oh crap, what was their garrison? 147, okay, so we need to be able to handle that, which is going to be tough. I don't know exactly, because I'm sure as soon as we opened up, we just get gunned down. That's some pretty epic music in the background, i got to admit. <laughs> let's go to the Lord's Hall here. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make fun of him or whatever. My name is Rhino. How oh, is there anything I can do to win your favor? Ooh, <laughs> I guess they are not afraid of homosexual relationships in 1776 anymore. Uh, oh, damn it! I'm not even talking to the right guys. I need to talk to a continental person because, or an American, because they're the ones who are gonna know where George is. Maybe the creek. The creek are somebody I should uh, try to fight. Because the creek are weak. Creek weak. Because they only have the one town. I don't know. Alright, where am I? <laughs> Let's just head back to Richmond or something. Because that's probably where there's going to be somebody. Alright. Richmond! Richmond, and now we want to fight. We want to follow ourselves so that we can see if um, we re I really would like to engage some bandits or something. My God, this is like really boring, just running around. Uh.
Like, like this is like, I'm gonna die. So boring. Uh, okay. Some of our soldiers are ready to upgrade. Oh, okay. It's cool. Now they're just gonna cost me more money, and there's no way I can make money. So, yeah. Alright. Our current. Mer okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh. You'll regret ever leaving the army, so it looks like they actually charged us. That's the only thing that. The only way we can actually get into fights now, guys, is because. is if the enemy charges us. Which is quite ridiculous, but. Uh, here, let's get up onto this hill here, and then we'll be able to lay down some fire. I believe they're coming from that. Yeah, there they are coming over that hill. Well, at least there's going to be a battle in this episode. I mean, God, that would have been horrible to just go running around like an idiot for, like, forever and then just be like, eh, it's the end of the episode, guys. No battles. No nothing. Just turned it in the letter. Alright, well, now that they're not looking at me, I'm going to get to show them why they would should regret not looking at me. Oh, actually, go look at look at my allies. You You want to shoot them, don't you? There we go. Shot him. And good, we somehow managed to dodge their bullets too. So we got we got our men, we divided them between either attacking me or attacking my men, so that's good because it'll keep them off my men. Oh, let's try these double pistols out. Oh, you can actually shoot twice. Okay, that's cool. So it's just like a regular pistol, but it lets you shoot two times. So let me try this again. That's cool. I mean, I guess it's kind of like dumb, but still cool. Maybe we, I'm, I think I might get into pistols just because of this double thing. Oh, what the? That's some ridiculous range on that, my friend. And we suck at pistols, don't we? We're only doing like 20 damage when we do like 90 with one shot with this guy. We are not hitting the broadside of a barn. Let's move our men up. Actually, charge. <laughs> Everybody charge. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna try to shoot down one more man. Alright, stop, 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 stop. There we go, got him. I was lucky. Hopefully my continental soldiers will come. My god, they're slow. Oh, an American footman, good. Let me run you over. Hmm. Alright, so one more left. Just keep running him over. Oh, we do not want to let him try to sh- Oh, god, he's gonna shoot. We'll just run him over. Hey, you wanna try to hit me? Boom! No, my god, I shot you! You freaking- Oh, well, that would be so funny if my horse killed him. Oh well. Good thing our men are charging, at least. Yep, here they come. They're gonna stab it out, apparently, and so, since they have these things called guns, but they don't know how to use them, apparently. Oh well, we won. Yay, we won! <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I died. Oh well. First battle in weeks and I die. <laughs> hey, but we gained renown. Sweet. Continental infantry outfits, cool. Musket cartridges, but we already have better ones. Ooh. Oh no, I thought these had 19, not 9. Blech. Trash. Some of our soldiers are ready to go. Good. Uh, looks like these guys are all marines. Now we have some skirmishers. Cool. American infantry. We have still that one dragoon. Useless dragoon. Let's upgrade ourselves since this we've been... I've been ignoring it. Oops. Let's grab another power, uh, uh, iron flesh. Now we're done upgrading our strength for now. So yeah. Um. Okay. So, yeah, guys. Um, the, the this is a major problem that I see with this mod is that there's so few engagements. Is that they're so so spread out. That, that that is it's really bothering me right now and 
by the end of this episode, if something doesn't change, I'm going to consider degrading this series to a secondary series and perhaps allowing Florist Mod to take over, like to do Florist Mod now. I mean, we did give it two weeks, guys, so, I mean, it's been fun, but I think it's just as fun to play the uh, Napoleonic Wars mod, honestly, than, than to play this. Maybe there will be a maybe there's a better better mod that'll deal with guns like or maybe I should just even I should just freaking play with fire and sword that might have been a better idea. Uh, I'm kind of dumb like that. Okay, Richmond, let's go. We're gonna find George Washington. We're gonna talk to him, and uh, and I think we might want to go out in a final stint of glory. Let's go to our castle here, where, of course, there's nothing, nobody here. Let's leave, hopefully, at least that lady is probably still in Baltimore. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, teleport, <laughs> teleport all the way to Baltimore. This is something that's not going to be happening in Flores Mod, is, is the, uh, is this thing, <laughs> the, st the stuttering. So where is George? It's another location of George Washington. He is in, he's in the field and could be close to Schmoken at the moment. Alright, thank you. All right. Hopefully we can find him. It doesn't take us like 10 years to find him. <laughs> George, George, George. Oh my god, he's ugly. So let's talk to... Oh! Is that right there? Sweet. Alright, we'll find him. He should be there, so. If he's not, maybe we'll pass one of his men on the way and be able to ask them. Some unknown crap is happening. Uh, that might have been him. I can't. I hate this. It's so terrible. This, like, staggering crap. Oh, uh, and I don't care about all these things. Was that George? Yes, that is George Washington. Okay. George Washington, come here. I am Rhino, at your service, sir. I'm George Washington, ruler of the United States. <laughs> lord of Philadelphia. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's often that I meet blah blah blah. Um, I, my lord, I come to offer my sword and vassalage. My lady, you blah 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 blah. Um, what if I were to take one of your enemy's capitals by force? Perhaps one of your competitors will prove to be more of my... I would be willing to fight you even... Oh, even without a thief? No, that's not true. I'm not gonna fight without a thief. Um, hmm. Okay, so I see what it is. If I if I say, okay. While I would not be willing to grant you any fees, however, you no doubt could use your husband's properties, which will allow you to act as one of my vassals in all but name. Did you have any other questions? Uh. Okay, never mind. That's it. Um. All right, I must beg my leave, George. I see I will just make myself more renowned, and uh, then we can come back. But um, I'm really at a loss of how to do that. How do I make myself more renowned when there's nothing to do? There's like literally, we can't even find that stupid bandit hideout. Ooh, oh my god, I saw some looters or something. This is like not how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like, I found one pack of looters. I l can't wait to fight them. Although it is kind of sad because I, uh, I am. That's that's exactly how I feel. Is like so super excited to see them, to fight them. But they're gone, and it hurts my heart that I can't find any looters. Ugh, I'm like about to go fight one of these guys just because they're the only thing to fight Okay, there's some British dudes Ugh. Okay, come on. Let's, let's find some stupid Something something to fight. There's got to be something Nope, just money coming out of my pocket. I swear if I can't find anything worthwhile to fight within the, in, the, in the next five minutes, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. Uh... Okay, fine. We found deserters, but of course they get lost, and we're never gonna be able to catch them because they're on horses. Two point nine, three point. Okay, they're gonna be just slightly faster than us. This is so dumb. 
We have 21 British foot guards. We're never going to be able to catch them because they're just slightly faster than us. They're just going to get away from us. This is ridiculous. All right. Well, and and this is also unacceptable that the the game is stuttering when I am just running. It's like I'm not even I'm not even doing the shift thing, or the the control space. It's ridiculous. Am I gonna even be able to catch him ever? No. He's just gonna run do loop de loops. He just juked me. He just juked me. I mean, the music is great. I love the freaking music. It's awesome. But if this is what it's gonna be like for the rest of the game, me trying to find just one thing to do, I mean, come on. This is ridiculous, and oh my god, so many stupid menus. Alright. Come on, come on, I can't catch these guys. You're not gonna help me, you moron. You could have just made him run back to me or something on accident. Oh, god. This is, this is this mod, guys. Basically sums it up right here. Um, I, I feel like... I feel like this is the end. <laughs> this is probably going to be the last episode of this mod, guys. I'm just going to let us... We're going to just chase these guys for, for eternity, apparently. And um, I'm going to tell you why. This is the... I have a couple of reasons. Like, these, there's been a bunch of minor errors that have not bothered me so much. Um, the music almost makes up for them. But there's still been these minor errors that bother me. And, uh, like, the map not working. The map... <laughs> you know, constantly erroring, and uh, the map stuttering when we're trying to run on it, the fact that we can't use the mini-map, that's ridiculous, it should be able to work, come on. Alright, so, and then, then, uh, then this, this is the most game-breaking thing for me, is the fact that there's, like, almost no game to play. Uh, there's not enough, there's not enough bandits, they're, they're, or they're just not here, or there's, like, there's not enough, the quest is, like, where's their hideout? It's, like, the map is so massive that it's, like, you can't really find anything. Um, and of course the ship and the ships and stuff. Why, why does there need to be ships? Like, it's just a, I, I think this is, this is just a unfinished mod and I should have known from the start that it would have been a bad idea, but I, I'm quite sorry, but I, I think we've had a good, a good run with it. I mean, we, we spent two weeks on it. I think I've had fun. I mean, it's been fun. I, I've listened to all the songs. I think this is like the five million time I've heard this one. So I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it because this is, this is insane. Look at this. We're just going to be... I mean, of course, this could happen in any Mountain Blade game. When they're just a little bit faster than you, you just throw off some prisoners or something. But, like, these are the only people we've seen. We've never seen any other bandits at all or anything else that we could possibly do to fight. Right? In this game. Like, since we've been chasing them, the whole time I've been talking and complaining. We finally caught them because we chased them into a peninsula. And this is how we're going to end this series, guys. We're going to end it with a, a final... Uh, glorious battle here. This is going to be the end of Rainel's Tale, but um, what we're going to do is I think we're going to be playing Fire and Sword because Fire and Sword is basically the same thing, but just not, not Revolutionary War. It's like the only difference is that it's not the Revolutionary War. And since it's an actual paradox game, I know it's going to be freaking awesome, so I can't wait to play it. But anyways, to the battle. Whoa, what the hell? What the heck happened? My mount received extra 100 damage for why? I have no idea. All right, and uh, okay, we just got raped by all these guys, and they're just like they're doing some sort of like cl like flying. Oh my god! See, this is why we're playing. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I could have p done better there, honestly, but like that was kind of ridiculous. And look at this! What the heck? You you sort of sort of moron. Why is this cavalry man just like? They can't even shoot one of the enemies. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We got some. Now, are we going to get... Wow, we are mowing them down. You guys go. Uh, it looks like uh, Rhino, she might not have... I might not have been, done her justice in fighting, but her men are really doing a good job, I think. They mowed them down, at least to, until now. And here they come, holding true to the ranks until the very end. I'm very proud of my men. Rhino. Would be really proud of her men if she was still alive. Oh, and I think we're, this is going to be the end, guys. These uh, these are the guys that are going to do it. They have uh, five left. We only have we have sixteen, so maybe we could win. But Rhinelm is Rhinelm is dead in the Revolutionary War. Sadly, this is where her tale comes to an end. Uh, but maybe her men can live on.
It's yet to be seen. As oh, it seems they are routing. Alright. So yeah, guys, we're going to be starting to play uh, Fire and Sword next week. I'll start on Monday. I'm going to do an update video about this, and we're going to talk a little bit more, perhaps, about why this mod is not working out. So, uh, But don't worry, Mountain Bl Fire and Sword is very, very similar to this. It's like almost the same period. It's just like 100 years earlier, and it's, it's really good. I think it's going to be a lot more fun to play, since it's the same idea, pretty much. And you know what? I think this mod pretty much lived up to what it would be anyways. And as the men are victorious, I shall say goodbye uh, for the final time for Rhinel. Uh, we will be joining a similar character named Rhinel in Fire and Sword, so don't worry, it's going to be like the same thing, just just with a better mod, honestly, or a better you know a better game. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm really sorry that I have to come to the end of this series. It's just so boring. Um, but I know Fire and Sword will be exciting, and I cannot wait to share that with you. So I hope you'll enjoy that. And uh, yeah. That's it. Spray and pray out.